the pears did all go to the to the cannery. Uh, most years we've been able to sell them on the fresh market. But pears are getting more and more difficult to sell, and we have certain problems here in this part of the world to grow pears. We have a disease called fire blight, and if you get a lot of rain, it's a bacterial type disease, and it, it's hard to control. There, there really is no really good control measure to put on. Not, not like a fungicide for brown rot or something else in peaches. So we've sold them all until this past year and we ran into a problem with an, an insect problem. It wasn't very bad. You'd had to really look for it, but our process, our, our chain stores anymore, if it's not perfect, they won't touch, they won't take it. So we, we had a sample. We took, we showed them what we had. They, they hummed and hawed and decided that, well, maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. So we just let them go. We let them fall on the ground. So hopefully this year we're going to have one more go at it. And if it doesn't go well this year, ours are coming out. I have a lot of neighbors who have removed all their pears. They just haven't got the time to... And it takes a lot of chemical spraying to keep them under... To get the quality that you have to have. Not that you know, we're all being very careful on how, what type of chemicals we use and intervals to harvest and the whole bit, but it's, uh, it's not a high paying, paying crop anyway. If they weren't a hundred and some odd years old, they'd be gone. But they've been there. My grandfather probably planted a lot of the young trees that I'm still harvesting.